So have you seen any of the episodes yet? Yeah, yeah. I haven't. I, I have. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Esther, what, what did you think of them? I just it always kind of surprises me. Like you, you know, you can be doing a job and like you, you're there in it, and you think you know what it's going to be like. And then, it, you know, in the edit, it's like it, this job particularly, it's always better than what I think it's going to be. Also, I end up forgetting so much that we've done. <laughs> so, uh, or, or is, uh, surprised. Yeah, so I feel like I'm like watching it as a viewer would watch it um, anyway. But I, yeah, I really, I mean, I don't know whether I'm biased, but I really, <laughs> I really love it. I think it's brilliant. I haven't actually seen episode eight, though. No, seven and eight. So I don't know how it ends. <laughs> okay, th then we are on the same page. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Ray, how come you haven't seen it? Um, uh, I, I don't know, mate. Yeah, I don't know. I just not got round, got round to watching it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, it, Esther, how similar would you say that Ray is to Jason in real life? I'd say they do have. A lot of similarities. They um, sound the same, <laughs> and <laughs> um, I think there there is definitely an aspect of uh, Jason in Ray, and vice versa. I think it's um, I think they're both really funny. They've got both a similar sense of humour. Um, they both really care. Um, it's just kind of a yeah. It's just like a version. It's a it's a version of Rafe, I think. Um, they don't have the same dress sense. I think Rafe's a duffer dresser, a duffy dresser, um, and Jason doesn't wear glasses. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Rafe, what would you say? Um, yeah, I'd say that uh, Nikki is a specific strand of Esther's personality it's one it's one bit of it and that one bit she's turned into a very multifaceted rich deep funny beautiful character as is the woman that created her and um she's um Esther's very very funny and Nikki's very funny and Esther's um very loving kind person uh which is the same as Nikki too and um, Esther's, and one of the biggest things I think is Esther's warmth, and Esther's an extremely warm person, and uh, so is Nikki. All right. So, do you know which is the highest rated episode according to IMDb? No, throughout the whole kind of series one. Yeah. Series, yeah. No, no, do you? No, is, no, what is it? Uh, if you if you had to guess, do you have a guess? I'd say it's the um, end, I, end uh, season episode eight, season one. I'd say episode seven, season one. Well, it's the last episode in season two. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think that is the case? What happens at the end of season two? Oh, he jumps out of the car. Yeah. Um, and it's Karen and. Uh... Well, it must be sort of. It must be indicative, indicative of the show. It must have everything in it that is the show. So it's got, it's got, it's got comedy. Um, uh, it's extremely heartfelt, moving. There's jeopardy. There's yeah. set pieces. Um, there's all of the things um, that I think make this show so special. The perfect mix of comedy and drama, I guess. Um, and there's a cliffhanger. Yeah, that's true. So, but as I understand it, Rafe, you, you are a Crystal Palace supporter. Is that mm. correct? Mm. Yeah. So how has it been to praise Arsenal in this season? <laughs> there's worse teams. There's worse teams to worse teams to praise. At, at least it's a London club. Um, yeah. But Ian Wright used to play for Crystal Palace. And, and then Ian Wright moved to Arsenal. And so I've always, I just love Ian Wright. And, uh, and I always have an affection for Arsenal. I wouldn't say affection, a lack of loathing for Arsenal <laughs> because of Ian Wright. All right, so you don't have to act that much according no, to that. Too, but it's not too <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay, again, it, do, do you have 
as it, it always looks like you're having so much fun together watching this, this show. It really looks endearing in so many aspects. But do you have any favorite moments of this new season that you could share with us? Um, oh, gosh. Um... My favorite moments, sorry to interrupt, my favorite moments are always just, and it sounds simple, but the stuff in our apartment, like that's always my favorite scenes. Uh, I think it's where the heart of the show lives. Um, generally, we film that at the end of the block, um, although we didn't do it this time. We did it in the middle of the block, I think. And like that feels like our home. It feels like our apartment, even though it's a set. Um, it feels like where we live and it's very, very familiar to us. And when we step on that apartment, it feels like coming home. And so all of those scenes in there, are just always my favorite and they always they always will be yeah i i agree but there's also i just remembered there's like i always enjoy our arguments in it where every, every time nikki and jason have an argument um and there's one in i think it's in episode seven which is kind of like it's like an argument that is uh dragged on for quite a long time and it's always quite fun to play that that tension and uh and when that argument really kind of comes to a head that's always enjoyable to do i think between those two because it's it's also they're just really funny with it as well um one of my favorite moments filming series one was when we had this argument but it was like a misunderstanding and it was so hard to film because we were both just laughing so hard because it was just it's just yeah it was just funny funny and naughty 